What's up, everyone? Well, the truth is, very often, we don't like looking at uncomfortable things. Things about ourselves, things about our relationships, things about the people around us that we share our lives with, and we sweep them under the rug. The truth is, we often prefer fog to clarity. At least in the fog, we don't have to look at these things. We don't have to tell people what it is we want with life. We don't have to tell ourselves where we're headed. We don't have to have any goals. We just sort of muddle through. And in the abundance of Western civilization, that's pretty easy to do. We've got too much food, if anything, and we've got big screen TVs that keep us entertained. And we really don't have to look at those things in our lives that keep us from living our best life. Well, today's Bible passage in 2 Kings 20 has Hezekiah, and he's getting sick. And Isaiah, the man of God, comes to him and says, you better get your life in order. And perhaps there's some fog going on here in his life and some things he didn't want to look at. We just get a snippet of his prayer to the Lord, but he tells the Lord exactly what he wants. He wants to live. And in that moment of clarity, the fog lifts and God hears what it is we want. The Bible says, ask, seek, and knock, and we're all for that. But a lot of us don't know what to ask for because we're living in fog, and we don't want to seek after things that might be uncomfortable in our lives. We don't want to know about certain things. We prefer the fog so we don't have to see those things. And we don't want to knock because who knows what's on the other side of that door. So we're all for ask, seek, and knock, but the truth is we can avoid all three. And the promises of God come with asking, seeking, and knocking, with going after things. A truly fulfilled life is a life with clarity, with focus, with direction, somewhere where we're headed. We're able to tell other people what it is we want in life, even if they don't like what it is we want in life. We're, sometimes we don't tell anyone what we want because we're afraid that other people won't go along with that. And so we settle for going nowhere. Well, Hezekiah has this moment of clarity in his prayer where he says, I want to live. And the Lord relents and says, okay, we'll give you some more time. And Isaiah the prophet uh, confirms that. And it all came from a moment of clarity, knowing what to ask for, being courageous enough to seek the truth in a situation. And the truth was he was dying and he had to be clear about that and to be able to knock and be open to what's on the other side of that door. So I would just invite you not to sweep things under the rug, not to live in the fog, to be bold enough to ask, seek, and knock, to be bold enough to go after something in your life, to be bold enough to share when we've got troubling situations and interactions with the people that we love so that we can work through those things and not just pretend like they aren't there. The good news is that if we ask, seek, and knock, and we get specific with the Lord about what it is we need, and we get honest with ourselves about what's going on in our lives, the truth is that that leads to a lifting of the fog, the sun comes out, and there's a lot of joy and clarity in our lives. Not that it will be easy. In fact, sometimes it's harder to come out of the fog, but the truth is it's always, always worth it. Hezekiah came out of the fog, and enter the sunshine, I would invite you and me to do the same. That's the good news for today, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.